In this video, I'll teach you how to troubleshoot weird scheduling issues in Microsoft Project. In my 27 years now with using Microsoft Project, I have discovered that almost every weird scheduling issue is caused by a calendar. In this video, I'll teach you some techniques for troubleshooting scheduling issues that are almost always caused by a calendar. So let's get started. In my previous video, I taught you how to use two techniques to troubleshoot scheduling issues in Microsoft Project. In this video, I'll show you how to use those same techniques to troubleshoot even weirder scheduling issues. All right, so first of all, take a look at the design task. You can see that it currently has the default duration of one day, and the task is scheduled to begin on Monday of the week of February the 2nd. Absolutely nothing unusual there at all. In the task form pane, I'll go ahead and select the name Amy Greason. Amy will be working full-time on this task for 40 hours. When I click the OK button, Microsoft Project does calculate a duration of five days as expected. However, there's a really weird scheduling issue with this task. Notice the task jumped from the week of February the 2nd to the week of February the 16th. What in the world is going on? Let's troubleshoot this issue. So what I'll do first is double click the name Amy Greason and I'll go to the Change Working Time dialog. In the dialog, I can immediately see the source of the scheduling issue. During the week of February the 2nd, Amy is going to be on educational leave in Orlando. And in the following week, she'll be on vacation in Florida. Well, good for her as long as there's no hurricanes. But this schedule won't work in this project. So let me cancel out of the two dialogues, and I'm going to need to find a replacement, and that would be Carolyn Frost. We'll leave Carolyn to work full-time for 40 hours. I click OK. The duration remains at five days. However, we have an even weirder scheduling issue. Now, the task spans over three working weeks, except the duration still remains at five days. What in the world is going on here? All right, so I'll double click the name Carolyn Frost, go to the Change Working Time dialog for her, and here's the source of the problem. During the week of February the 2nd, she is going on PTO Thursday and Friday. During the week of the 9th, she's on PTO the entire week. And during the week of the 16th, she's on three days of PTO. So that is controlling the schedule of the task. But what about this time span? Is this schedule actually right? So as you learned in the previous video, I'll right click in the view bar and I'll choose the task usage view. Now in the task usage view, let's determine if the schedule is correct and the duration is correct. So during the first week of the task, here's one, two, three days of work. So those are three days of duration. Then nothing the remainder of that week. No work scheduled the second week. No work scheduled the first three days of the third week, plus two more days. 
So there's five working days over the time span of 15 days. The five days of duration is correct. And the schedule of the task is correct. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Now let's go back to the task form pane. This schedule is not working out very good for Carolyn Frost. In fact, let's bring this Gantt bar back into view. So Carolyn Frost, not going to work with her. Let's choose her counterpart, Carolyn Gilman. Carolyn will be working full time for 40 hours. Again, that should give us a duration of five days. And when I click the OK button, sure enough, the duration remains at five days. However, now we've got another weird scheduling issue. Notice Carolyn is working five days out of the first week and three more days out of the next week, but the duration is still five days. So what is going on here? All right, so I'll double click the name Carolyn Gilman and I'll go to the change working time dialog and oh no, Carolyn has jury duty Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the week of February the 2nd. Well, that's impacting the schedule of the task. Let's make sure the schedule is right and the duration is correct. So I'll go ahead and right click in the view bar. Again, I'll go to the task usage view. Let's go ahead and bring the work hours into view. So here we are, Monday, Tuesday, one, two days of work, nothing the rest of the week, three, four, five days. The duration is correct and the schedule is correct. All right, so let's go back to the task form view. And I don't think Carolyn is going to work out for this task, so why don't we try Darlene Goddard? We'll have her work full time for 40 hours. That should continue with a duration of five days. So when I click the OK button, holy moly, now we've got an even weirder scheduling issue. Notice the time span for the task now is only four days, except the duration is still five days. Man, this is even weirder than before. All right, so let's troubleshoot it. I'll double click Darlene Goddard, go to the change working time dialog, and here is the source of the scheduling issue. Remember, this is the resource calendar used exclusively for Darlene Goddard but look at her base calendar that controls her working schedule is a 4 by 10 work week schedule. Notice also in the calendar grid, each working day, Monday through Thursday, the working schedule is 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., and notice Fridays are non-working time. So if I get out of those dialogues, how did Microsoft Project come up with a duration of five days when the task only spans four days? The answer is the software calculated the duration using what we call the duration equation, which is Duration equals the work divided by the units multiplied by eight hours a day. So the duration is calculated as 40 hours divided by 100% times eight. 40 divided by eight is five days. So the correct Duration of this task is five days, 
even though the schedule looks wrong. This is one of the oddities you'll experience if you use unusual calendars to schedule the resources in your project. Okay, so I think we're going to leave Darlene Goddard assigned to the task design. Let's move on. So I'll click the button called Next, and on the task build, let's go ahead and assign Deidre Emerson to work on this task full time for 24 hours. When I click the OK button, Microsoft Project does calculate a duration of three days, and the schedule is just fine. Wow, a miracle. And then I'll click the button called Next, and on the task Test, let's go ahead and assign Dorothy Dyer to work full time for 16 hours of work. That gives us a duration of two days. Fine, again, no mysteries there. But now what I want to do is I want to apply a task calendar to the test task. And I want to schedule this task to take place only on a weekend. From the previous video, you might remember that I need to double click the test task, go to the advanced page, down near the bottom, the calendar pick list. Remember, this refers to an override calendar, a task calendar. So I'll change the value from none to weekend work. And then I'll also select the checkbox scheduling ignores resource calendars. That'll force the resource to work during a weekend when they don't normally work a weekend. And when I click the OK button, we do get this warning dialog. It's telling me that we're assigning the resource to work on a weekend. That's fine. Just click the OK button when you see that dialog. Now, what I want you to notice is that the task is correctly scheduled over the weekend of February the 16th, which is the first available weekend after the build task is completed. See there? Finished on Tuesday, then the task task will go to the weekend of February the 16th. However, what would happen if we changed the duration of the build task from three days to seven days? I want you to watch the schedule of the test task. When I press the Enter key, boom, the test task now moved to the weekend of February the 23rd. Why? It will always schedule this task on the first available weekend after its predecessor is completed. So build finishes now on Monday of the week of February the 16th. Therefore, the weekend task is moved to the weekend of February the 23rd. Now, Let's go a little bit deeper. What if we were to change the duration of Dorothy Dyer's assignment? If we changed her work from 16 hours to 32 hours. Now, Microsoft Project will give us a duration of four days, at least I think so, and yep, by golly, there it did. However, what in the world is going on with the schedule of this task? Now the Gantt bar spans from the weekend of February 23rd across to the weekend of March the 2nd. The duration is four days, but the time span is longer than that. 
So let's go ahead and troubleshoot and let's see if we can determine is this schedule correct and is the duration correct? So once again, I'll right click in the view bar and I'll choose the task usage view. Let's go ahead and bring this task into view. And here is the schedule. Eight hours the first weekend. Nothing in between during the week. Remember, these are weekend only tasks. Eight hours a day for two days. Nothing Monday through Friday. Eight hours a day for the next two. So the duration is one, two, three, four days, even though the time span appears to be longer than that. Now, let me go to the task form view again. And here's what most people expect. Most people expect that we would not have a solid Gantt bar. They would expect two days of solid blue and then dot, dot, dot through the rest of the week and then two more days of solid view. But no, that is not how Microsoft Project draws the Gantt bar for this task. Even though it makes it look like Dorothy is working both weekends plus the week in the middle, you now saw in the task usage view that she only works the two days of each of the two weekends for a total duration of four days. So that's how you can use these troubleshooting tools to diagnose scheduling problems in your Microsoft Project schedules. Well, now you know how to troubleshoot weird scheduling issues in Microsoft Project. And you saw with your own eyes how calendars contribute to those weird scheduling issues. As always, I sure hope you found this video to be helpful to you. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Also, if you would like to hire me to provide training for your organization's project managers on Microsoft Project, be sure and leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you right away. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.